Hello everyone, welcome to CAD CAM CA tutorials. In this video, we are going to design a web block assembly that you can see on the screen right now. And let's have a close look. So now let us begin it. We will go to the file, select here the new part and OK. Now we will go to the sketch, select here the top line. Now here first we will insert a horizontal center line like this. Now we will draw the half sketch and then we will give it mirror. So let us start with the line and we will draw one sketch like this. First we will draw a random sketch and then we will give it dimensions. So now let us go to the smart dimension. Now this line is of 24 mm. This line is of 84 mm. And here this line is of 10.5 mm. Now we will exit the smart dimension and select the line. And here we will draw the remaining portion. So we will start with this end point and we will draw like this. Now we will go to the smart dimension. Now here this length is of 5 mm. It is of 3 mm. It is of 11 mm. Now it is also of 3 mm. And now here this is 2 mm. And now the vertical projection of this inclined line that is 11.5 mm. Now we will exit the smart dimension. Now we will select this end point and select this point and we will make it vertical. Okay. Now we will make the mirror of this sketch. So first we will select all the sketch. Then go to the mirror entities. Now here we will select this center line and okay. Now here it is showing that this sketch is over defined. So we have to delete some constraints. So here let us delete this. And let us delete this. So now our sketch is fully defined. And now we will go to the features and select here the extruded post feature. Now here the depth of extrusion that is 19 mm. Ok. Now again we will draw one sketch on this plane. Normal. Now here first we will draw a center rectangle like this. Then we will go to the smart dimension. Now the distance of the center from the origin that is 63 mm. And this length is of 25 mm. And this length is of 6 mm. Now we will exit the smart dimension and then we will draw the arc using the 3 point arc. We will draw a semicircle using the 3 point arc like this on both ends. Now we have to trim this unwanted portion. So select the trim entities and we will trim this portion. Now we will exit the trim. Go to the features and select here the extruded cut feature. And here the depth of extrusion that is 1 mm. Ok. Now we will go to the sketch and select here this face normal. Now here we will draw one line, one horizontal line like this. Then we will go to the smart dimension. Now the distance between this point and this point that is 50 mm. And here we have to draw one triangle. 
so we will go to the line and we will draw a triangle like this now we have to give the height of the triangle so go to the smart dimension and the height of the triangle that is 3mm and now we have to give all the sides equal so we will select all the lines one by one and make it here equal ok now we will go to the features select here the extruded cut feature and select here through all ok again go to the sketch and select here this face make it normal now first we will insert a vertical center line from the origin like this now here also we have to draw one sketch for that we will use the line first we will draw a random sketch like this and then we will give it exit dimensions now we will go to the smart dimension the distance of this point from the center line that is 16.5 mm this vertical line is of 13 mm now this horizontal line is of 7.5 mm now this vertical line is of 6 mm again this horizontal line is 10.5 mm now we will exit the smart dimension now again we will select the line and we will draw the sketch like this now again we will go to the smart dimension now this line is of 5 mm it is of 3 mm this vertical line is of 11 mm and this horizontal line is of 3 mm now we will exit the smart dimension then go to the line and we will draw a sketch like this now we will go to the smart dimension now this horizontal line is of 2 mm this vertical line is of 3 mm now here the horizontal projection of this line that is 11.5 mm ok and now we will exit the smart dimension now we have to make this point and this point as horizontal ok now we have to make the sketch mirror so select the sketch go to the mirror entities and select here this vertical center line ok now we will go to the line and we will make the sketch close and make sure that the sketch is closed one not open now we will go to the features and select here the extruded boss feature and here the depth of extrusion that is 50 mm here we will reverse the direction ok now again we will go to the sketch and select here the top line normal now here we will draw one circle like this then we will go to the smart dimension now the circle is having the diameter of 8 mm and the distance of center of the circle from the origin and that is 25 mm now we will exit the smart dimension now we have to make the center of the circle and origin horizontal ok now we will go to the features and select here the extruded cut feature and here we have to reverse the direction and select here through all ok again we will go to the sketch and select here the right plane or let us front plane normal now here we will draw one circle like this go to the smart dimension now the circle is having diameter of 8 mm the distance of center of circle from this edge that is 25 mm and the distance of the center from this line that is 25 mm now we will exit the sketch go to the features and select here the extruded cut feature and select here through all both ok 
so this is the first part now let us give it appearance so right click on the part and select the appearance select the part and here we will select this light green color ok now we will save the part so we will go to the save as and now we will make a new folder on the desktop make a new folder and we will name it as vblock assembly and we will give the name of the part as a base ok now we will go to the file new and select here the part now we will go to the sketch and select here the front plane now here first we will draw two circles two concentric circles go to the smart dimension now this outer circle is of 46 mm dia and inner one is 36 mm dia now we will exit the smart dimension now we have to draw two vertical line from the circumference points like this now the length of this line is 27 mm so go to the smart dimension and this is 27 mm and this is of 30 mm now we will exit the smart dimension again go to the line and we will draw two line from this circumference now we will go to the trim entities and we will trim out this lines now again we will select the line and we will make the sketch like this go to the smart dimension now the distance between this point and the origin take this 14 mm now we will exit the smart dimension again select the line and we will draw a sketch like this go to the smart dimension and distance between these two points is 28 mm now we have to draw one horizontal line over here so go to the line and draw a line like this now go to the smart dimension now this line is of 14 mm and this distance is half of that that is 7 mm and the distance of this line from the origin that is 26 mm now we will exit the smart dimension now from these endpoints we will draw two line like this now we will go to the trim entities and trim this entity ok now we will go to the fillet and here the fillet radius is of 2 mm and then we have to select all these corners ok now we will go to the features select here the extruded boss feature and select here the mid plane now the depth of extrusion is 13 mm ok now again we will go to the sketch select this face normal now here we will draw one circle and the diameter is 4 mm Now we will go to the features and select here the extruded cut feature and select here through all. Ok. Now we will give it appearance so select the part. Go to the appearance and select the part and select here this red color. Ok. Now we will save it and name it as Uclaim. now we will go to the file and select here the new part ok then go to the sketch and select here the top plane now here we will draw one circle go to the smart dimension and it is having diameter of 4 mm go to the features and select here extruded boss feature and the depth of extrusion is 35 mm ok 
now we will go to the chamfer and the chamfer radius is 1 mm and select here this edge ok now again we will go to the sketch and select this face normal now here we will draw one concentric circle of 10 mm dia again go to the features and select here the extruded boss feature and here the depth of extrusion is 13 mm ok now again we will go to the chamfer and the chamfer is 2 mm then select this edge and this edge ok now again we will go to the sketch and select here the front plane normal now here we will draw one circle like this and go to the smart dimension now the distance of the center of the circle from this edge and that is 6.5 mm and the circle diameter is 4 mm then go to the features and select here extruded cut feature and select here through all both ok now we will give it appearance so right click and select here the appearance and give it to the yellow color ok now we will save it and we will name it as a fastener and ok so till now we have created all the parts and now we are going to make assembly of all the parts so go to the file new and select here assembly ok now first we will insert go to the desktop v block assembly and first we will insert the base open like this now we will insert other component and that is the u clamp ok now we will go to the mat and then select here this face and select here this face ok then select here this face and select here this face ok now we will give distance so select this face and this face and select here distance and let us give it 22 mm ok now we will insert the last part that is the fastener so go to the insert component and select here the fastener then go to the mat then select here the cylindrical face and select this face ok now we have to give the distance between this face and this face so select this face and select here this face and select here the distance and the distance is 17 mm ok so this is our v-block assembly hope you enjoyed the tutorial for more videos on solidworks tutorials please subscribe to my channel catgames tutorials thanks